Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganort character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Vampire. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Looks like I've got some things to do. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first! Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you! Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean! Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide, and, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Flash, 
do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame, that should defeat them.
Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Oh, did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? Did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. <laughs> I'm getting a little winded.
Thank you for releasing me. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure.
my friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight.
nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve.
Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. Recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Hey Spyro! Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. Spyro! Keep up the good work and I know you'll fulfill your destiny! Destiny? I just want to kick some- Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure!
you for releasing me. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you're a wee puff of smoke, we've known, uh... You've known? Ah, I forget. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide.
incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt.
How's the dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro. Flame won't harm metal. But charging with your horns, that should do the trick. Why don't you glide there and find out? reach the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind there.
Thank you for releasing me! Done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Ready for what? Thank you for releasing me.
rocks up ahead are wearing armor. And in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <laughs> like me, before charging those large enemies.
guy thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing. He should watch his back.
Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go ahead, try it. leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it.
Pyro, you're not afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not. I didn't think so. Oh, thank you for releasing me. Great work, Spyro. If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the Magic Crafter world. Remember that these blue thieves haven't stolen eggs only in the Magic Crafter world. Don't worry, I'll take care of them.
please do something about these green druids. They insist on moving everything in sight. I hate those bugs. When I become big and strong, like you, I'll squash them all. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. Try combining supercharge with jumping and gliding, and really explore the high caves.
Welcome to Wizard Peaks. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. Thank you for releasing me!
Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the artisan home. It is at the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan home? Waterfall? Sounds good! Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And, uh, neither do I. Who are you again? Um, I'm out of here.
Master Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junk heap. And it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I've got to go.
Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp.
on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice wall. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. No, oh, no. Why, I remember... Uh, gotta go! Thank you for releasing me.
I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! <laughs> uh, huh. How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons, after all.
waiting, Sparrow, for an amazing tour of the treetops. Don't just stop at one supercharge. <sighs> That was quite a ride, Spyro. You've learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well you could have found an easier spot to get stuck.
Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it.
This big robot is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt its power supply.
Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Hello, Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds alright to me. The enemies here can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather flame the fools. Now you're thinking. Thank you for releasing me.
I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nork! That's me, all right. Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate being trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry, the only one who's gonna be trapped is him. Thank you for releasing me.
Spyro. All dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. Master of the Supercharge. Great work! Here comes Spyro! Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork.
Thank you for releasing me! Any advice before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me, aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Huh?
fairies are always on your side, Spyro. Thank you for releasing me!
Ah, Spyro, thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle, too. See where it takes you.
Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon who must defeat him. Bring him on! I'm ready! Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him.
Wow! I never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro! You gotta believe! <laughs>
Be on the lookout for Nort Commandos, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me.
<laughs> Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? His toast! So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will not open until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. we
Spyro the dragon, you've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again!